So here it's saying um, that it's time, the father's basically saying it's time to let him go. Um, he sat on my shoulder. I took him off. He flew to a branch of the maple park there. Silent, his little eyes. I was a child. I called him. Back he came. Stood for a moment on my finger, then gone. I felt the spring of his leg all day. So, going back to 16, line 16, where she said that he sat on my shoulder, I shook him off, he flew to a branch of the maple perch there, silent. What is that telling me? Okay, maybe maybe he's not ready to let him go. He's not ready to leave her. Maybe he said the bird. The bird wants to stay. All right. His little eyes. I was a child. I called him back. He came. Stood for a moment on my finger. So this tells me that he's able, or he understands that he's coming back to her. But then, gone, I felt the spring of his leg all day. So what finally happened in the end? He left. He left. He finally flew away. Okay, so let's go now and look at my question. Because I've read it. I said it was a poem, it's about a bird, and I kind of went through and dissected a little bit of it, talked about what some of the words meant. Um, so when it says, he was small, not ready yet, from line one, what does that mean? Does that mean that the bird could not remember its way home? No. No. Does it mean that the bird was too young to fly with yeah, home? Maybe. I like that maybe. The bird could not feed itself? No. It didn't say that. It didn't imply that at all. The bird was too weak to live with the speaker. No. No. He actually was thriving with her. So my answer is B. B. Okay? All right. So looking at uh, lines one through three from the poem, he was small, not ready yet, frantic under the head. In these lines, the author wants the reader to understand that the bird is sad. Yes. No. No. Do y'all want me to say maybe on sad? No. no. So we say no on sad. Was he tired? No. no. Was he hungry? No. Was he helpless? Yes. 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 Because it says that he was small. He was frantic, which means not calm, and he was under a bush. So that's telling me that he was helpless. All right. Could have been. And then why does the author use one word outside for line 15? So let's go back to line 15. It said, it's time, my father said. You have to let him go outside. Well, where had he been flying around? In the house. He had been flying around in the house. Well, she knew that if that flying around in the house was okay, but once she took him outside, what was a possible thing that could happen? He, he, fly away. Away. he might fly away from her. So let's look. Why does the author use one word outside for line 15? To make it easier for the reader to read the next line? No. no. To direct the reader's attention to a change in setting. Maybe. Maybe. I like that. To let the reader hear the sound of the father's voice. No. 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 To let the reader know where the bird has been found. Yeah. No. So my answer is B. B. All right, guys. So that is the wren, and that's how... You can like take a poem and dissect it and um, go through it and kind of see what it's about. All right.